This whole story would begin millions of years ago. At that time, the multiverse was divided by four great races. The race of gods and angels, the race of demons, the race of elves, and the race of dragons. One day, the other races were envious of the power of the dragon race. So secretly, these three races put together a plan to deprive the Dragon King of his throne. The Dragon King, to see such insolence of the other races, he had no choice but to fight for his people. Because if he did not fight for his race, who else would? The Dragon King fought fiercely against the three of them. But after many days and many losses in battle, the Dragon King finally succumbed to the power of the other races. But the King, before losing his life, left a message to one of his servants. And the message was that very soon will appear a person who will have his great power inside. That person will have to serve him and teach him how to use his power in order to make him pay to those cursed. And so time would pass. The dragons that survived the war, many of them disappeared. And since that day, nothing was heard of them, except for some. These dragons that were still around were Shenlong, Porunga, and Zarama. These gods took advantage of their divine power to turn them into wish-fulfilling dragons and then sealed their power in seven spheres. And well here everything would have happened as in the original story until that tragic day. Now we will place ourselves in the tournament of power. Goku and his friends were fighting fiercely to survive and win the super dragon spheres. The tournament was going on like any other, until... Now we will place ourselves in the underworld. The demon king saw that the angels were doing a tournament, he would say. This is magnificent. How many powerful beings are fighting in that tournament? If I take their vital energy, I will become much more powerful. Besides, if I don't take this opportunity, I will never have another one. Forgive me, god and angels, but in this world, only the strongest survive. The Demon King had called his army to go to the Tournament of Power. Lord Demon King, don't tell me that we are going to make a war. Are you not tired of living under the shadows, while the angels and the gods do as they please? Besides, if you do not feel it, there are many mortals in with great power. Lord, are you planning to make a massacre? Ha ha ha! How did you know? Aren't you thirsty for more power? It's really a shame that we can't use the vital energy of the gods and angels, since their energy is divine. But we can take advantage of the energy that those mortals have. Now everybody listen to me. Give your life for the Demon King. Suddenly, the whole army of the Demon King would start shouting like this, saying, Long live the Demon King! That's the way I like it. Now what are you all waiting for? Let's finish them off. Suddenly, all these demons would have come to the surface to go to the Tournament of Power. Meanwhile, in the Tournament of Power, everything was going on normally, when Daishinkan felt a bad feeling. What happens because I feel the presence of impure beings approaching the Tournament of Power? This is bad, they will appear at any time. But then out of nowhere, while Daishinkan thought, the Demon King along with his army would have appeared in the battle arena. All participants along with the gods and angels would be shocked after feeling the presence of the Demon King. Listen to me gods and angels, I do not want to make a war. The only thing I want is to give me these mortals. The gods and angels to see the presence of the Demon King, these would come down from the observation post to the battlefield in order to confront him along with the angel Daishinkan. What is happening angel? Did you not hear me? Give us those mortals. I'm sorry, Demon King, but we can't do that. So I'll tell you nicely. Please, get lost. I don't want to see your presence in this place. What did you say, you damn angel? I see you don't know your place. Then I'll let you know. Suddenly, the Demon King had increased his power, leaving all the participants of the Tournament of Power on their knees. The dark key that the Demon King had was something very surprising. But Daishinkan, despite seeing the fearsome power that this demon king had, he would begin to increase his power in the same way. Meanwhile, Seno-sama, he was observing everything that happened. Well, this is very bad if I don't do something now. This will become chaos. 
I don't want the Demon King to make a war now. This could damage the peace that has been there for years. It would be better to make a deal with them. At that, Zeno-sama would start shouting like the same. Wait, you guys calm down. I think we can come to an agreement. That Shinkan and the Demon King, after hearing the words of Seno-sama, would calm down. Lord Seno-sama, excuse my words, but is it wrong? How can we make a deal with the Demon King? Angel Dai Shinkan is the best thing to do. If we don't do it, you know what could happen, right? You know how many lives will be lost? Go, midget you. If you know your place, it's okay, I hear you. Look, Demon King, we cannot give you the participants of the Tournament of Power because that would complicate things, but we can give you a universe that you want. The Demon King, after hearing the proposal of Zeno-sama, would not agree very much, but after thinking about it very well, he would accept. All right, dwarf, just this once I will accept. I think it's better this than nothing. Suddenly, the Demon King would rise to the sky to observe very well who would be his victims. First power, I of the Demon King, tell me who of all of them is worthy, so that I absorb their vital energy. At that, the eye would have pointed to a specific universe. This well dwarf already decided it. I want that you give me to the universe seven. The universe seven, after hearing the news, would be shocked, and that Mr. Beerus would say, Excuse me, great demon king, but I think you're wrong. Our universe is not so strong, really not worth it. God of destruction, my eyes do not lie, so I want you here. You heard it, universe seven. Surrender to the Demon King, or else you know what will happen. Damn it, damn it, it can't be that this is happening. At that time, Goku, seeing the concern of everyone, this Saiyajin would say to the Demon King, Demon King, answer me one thing. Tell me what our destiny will be. Well, the most obvious one will be death. Suddenly, Goku would begin to clench his fist and then say, Demon King, I do not know who you take us for but we will not let you end our lives in this way. We intend to fight to the end, is not it, friends? Goku's friends, even though they were afraid, after seeing the Saiyajin's determination, they would take courage. That's right, Kakura. We won't let this damn guy step on our pride. We won't give him our life just because. Just this once. I'll fight with you, Kakura. Well, you are all idiots, even though you already know what your destiny is. You still have the determination to fight. Okay. As compensation for your bravery, I will let you fight against me only. So everyone would have thrown themselves against the Demon King, but even though they used their strength against the Demon King, this would only cause all of them to succumb to his power. In that moment, there would only be three people left. These were Beerus, Goku, and Vegeta. Guys, I'll take care of him. Maybe he won't live to tell the tale, but I have no other choice. I have to give it all so that at least two of them continue to live. Godlike form Hakai. In this form I am able to use all my power. Besides my power increases ten times more than usual. How interesting God you have increased your power a lot. But that won't be enough. Shut up Demon King and take this. Great Claw of Chaos. So a strong blow would have fallen against the Demon King. But this blow would have done nothing to him. How is it possible that my attack didn't do anything to him? Damn it! But still, I can't give up. Great chaos energy! So a ball of energy would have appeared all over the Tournament of Power. What is that energy? It has great destructive power. Wait, Mr. Beerus, if you throw that ball of energy, we'll eliminate innocent people. I'm sorry, Goku, but there is no other way. See you soon, Demon King. Chaos energy destroys everything in your path. Die, damn Demon King! So Beerus would have thrown the energy of chaos to the Demon King, but this demon with just one head would have made it disappear in just a few moments. This can't be true. Suddenly, the Demon King in just a second would have stood in front of Beerus and then give him a strong blow that would send him flying far away. Beerus would be on the ground very hurt by that simple blow. God of destruction, I return to your attack. So this ball would have impacted against Beerus to end his life. Now it's up to you, mortals. That damned as he dares, suddenly Vegeta would be launched against the Demon King. But this Demon King, without wasting much time, would only grab Vegeta by the head. Vegeta, with much effort, would begin to hit the Demon King again and again, but his attacks were useless. The Demon King, without thinking twice, 
would absorb Vegeta's vital energy and then end his life in just an instant. Saiyajin, now only you are left. You were the first to speak and now you will be the last to die. You're a miserable bastard. I can't believe you did this to my friends. Beerus, Vegeta, Krillin, you even eliminated my precious son Gohan. I will never forgive you for this. Suddenly, Goku's eyes would have turned white and then expelled a great power. Goku's body was falling apart. It was the first time that Goku used the Kaioken for 40 times. The only thing that was going through his head was to avenge his friends. So this Saiyajin with a great speed would throw himself against the Demon King to give him a strong blow in the face that would make him retreat a little. The Demon King after receiving this blow would be a little surprised saying, So you are not as weak as I thought. This time I will fight you seriously. The Demon King would give several blows to Goku which would leave him seriously hurt. But Goku, despite being hurt, he would continue attacking again and again the Demon King. This damn Saiyajin, when is he going to surrender? Gravity pressure kneel before my mortal. Goku would fall to the ground from the great gravity pressure of this Demon King. Damn, I couldn't be able to get up. What's wrong, Saiyajin? Don't you get up? You haven't even been able to use my 10%. You are weak. Why don't you beg me on your knees for your life? I've already done it. Accept it. You lost your loved ones. The only thing you have left is to die. Shut up! I won't accept that! Forgive me, everyone, but I have to go over my limits if I want to avenge them. Kalken by 90! So a strong aura of red color would have sweated the whole body of Goku. Goku, despite the gravity, would get up with great effort. I will not bow down to you, you damned demon king! Meanwhile, on the planet of Kaui-sama, he was resting when suddenly he felt the bestial power of Goku's energy. What the hell is going on? Don't tell me that Goku is using the Kaokin for 90. Is that even possible? I have to stop him at all costs. His life is at stake. Kaui-sama would communicate with the Saiyajin quickly. Goku stood up. Please, calm down. If you continue like this, you will lose your life. I'm sorry, Kawasama, but I have to avenge my friends. I have to give everything in this last attack. So Goku would have charged a Kamehameha multiplied by 20. This Kamehameha would have impacted fully against the Demon King. The body of the Demon King would have been smashed to pieces. Goku seeing this would only untransform to fall to the ground very hurt. Goku could barely maintain consciousness. But just when Goku thought he had won, something strange would happen out of nowhere. The Demon King's body would completely regenerate. Saiyajin, if that was impressive, you really did very well. But it's time for you to die. Suddenly, the Demon King would lift Goku by the neck and then throw him through the air. To throw him a ball of energy. Meanwhile, Goku, the Saiyajin who was about to die, would ask himself many questions. I'm really going to die? Is this the end? In the end, I couldn't avenge my friends. Is it all over here? Meanwhile, inside Goku, a very mysterious voice began to speak. A very mysterious voice would start to sound in Goku's head. Something was calling him. Goku at that moment could hear the ancient dragons shouting for their king to return. At that, the ancient dragon king would have appeared before Goku, thus telling him, I think it's time for you to wake up, new Dragon King. Go ahead and bring our race back to the top. Goku, after hearing the voice of the former Dragon King, would wake up to deflect the Demon King's energy ball. Goku's wounds would begin to heal on their own. That's right, I am the King of Dragons. Now I remember all of you are traitors, especially the Demon King. You will pay for having betrayed us and for having eliminated all my friends. I, as the ruler of all the dragons at this time, I order the three dragons to appear and give me all their power. <laughs>